Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In this lesson I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to first find and then delete duplicate records when using Excel 2007, Excel 2010. It costs a lot of money to send out a catalog or a postcard. So before I send my mailing piece to the mailing house, I want to make sure that I have taken the precautions to eliminate duplicate records. When I prepare, I first like to use conditional formatting to be able to spot possible duplicates. So in this case, I'm going to first select all of the records in this mailing list. And then on the Home tab of the ribbon, I'm going to come over here and apply a conditional formatting rule. One of the highlight cells rules is to highlight cells that have duplicate values. Now over here, notice that I have a choice of highlighting the duplicate records or the unique records, and I can also change the various formatting options over here. Now, as I look through, I can see what Excel considers a duplicate. So here I have a duplicate of Anaheim in California. Well, that's going to be OK. And you see over here that I have several duplicates that it picks up the state of Pennsylvania, PA. Over here, I have duplicates for George Grady. Now, notice over here that I have an exact same address, exact same city, but one is in Michigan, one is in Minnesota, and notice the difference of the zip codes. So this record is a duplicate of this record, but this is a unique record. Now also notice some other things that conditional formatting will help you with. I would wager money that this record in cell uh, B16 was a misspelling. So again, if I apply conditional formatting before I go ahead and duplicate, it helps me to get a sense of which records are truly duplicates and which ones I want to leave in there. So for right now, I'm not going to apply uh, or keep this duplicate value formatting. I'll just click the X sign to remove it. Now that I have that sense, I'm going to go to the Data tab on the ribbon in Excel 2007, and over, over here in the Data Tools, I'm going to choose Remove Duplicates. Now notice over here that I can select which columns I want to see as duplicates. And in most cases, we're going to want to have all of these columns checked. So I can uncheck or check. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now, when you click OK, this is a permanent reversal. So my best practice tip is make sure you have a backup copy just in case you accidentally uh, delete a record that you wanted to keep in there. So always perform your duplicates on a backup copy. And there, we finish it, and now we have a cleaned up data set. And of course, we'll still want to go through and possibly come back with conditional formatting, maybe to find duplicates in the last name. And that's when we would find that record and then come through and say, let's delete that. Now, another way that we can uh, use uh, uh, duplicate record removal is that if we have our data set formatted as a table. So over here, if we come over here into Insert, Table, and if we apply the Excel 2000 table formats on it, the way we find duplicates is that we come up here into Table Tools, and we come over here into the Tools group, and then choose Remove the Duplicates. Now everything remains the same. We have those same choices. And once again, click OK. And that one record of George Grady in Grand Rapids, Michigan is going to be deleted. So the same guidance applies. I prefer to work on a duplicate or a backup copy of my data set before going through and deleting the records. And I strongly recommend that you take advantage of the improved conditional formatting options to highlight those possible duplicates before you actually do the removal of those records. And this is typical of the tips that I offer in my DVD, the 50 best tips for Excel 2007. And I'll see you in the next lesson.